We got to talk to DJ Sense, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it's so awesome to have you here. I've been a fan of what you've been doing before. You probably are oh, wow. proud of me being a fan of you. <laughs> but <laughs> Thank you, man. I remember um, listening to the affiliates. Yeah. Uh, like, all the new music that broke, I mm. got from you guys. Like, I don't Thank know you. how y'all did that, but y'all had all the <laughs> dopest <laughs> remixes and everything. Yeah. So you bringing that to the Christian space and, and dedicating your life to God has been amazing to see. Thank you, man. Tell them a little bit about your journey and yeah. how you got to this place. Um, I mean, man, like, you know, to cut a long story short, like the calling was always there, man, even when I was doing the affiliates thing um, and, you know, the gangster girls thing with, with, with my brothers and, uh, you know, I kind of my my grandmother played in the in the church, and so I was always going to church as a little boy. And there was one time when she told me like, "You got like this like minister thing with you." I'm like five years old. I'm like, "No, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be, no, no." And I just ran and I ran and ran. So like, you know, fast forward all the way, you know, all the way up to like even uh, when I was like when I started touring with Lil John, um, going to different countries and stuff. And it was like the Holy Spirit was talking to me like, you know, like, learn what you're going to learn here. But I need you to do this for the kingdom that I'm going to my kingdom, yeah. with, you know. Yeah. 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 And it, it would just like kind of call me, man. And um, I had to go through, you know, a valley and I went through a serious valley wow. to where it was like, yeah, I told you it's just going to be me and you. So, you know, lost a lot of things, lost everything. Wow. And then, you know, it was a, at a point where I wasn't even, you know, it wasn't all about the, the, the what I thought was I, how I was supposed to be, you know, yeah. the, the the vanity and, you know, and, and the idolization and, yeah, and, and, and all that stuff, man. And um, it, it, I was like, OK, God, you got it, you know, yeah. and you know I started diving real crazy into the Bible and then um, really discerning the scriptures and stuff like that and then what the Holy Spirit was telling me was like look you're gonna do this in my in the in the kingdom but you know it's you're gonna still be you yeah, and yeah. I had to understand like okay um and then as I started diving in and getting stronger and stronger and more confident and, you know, it took some time at my fiance yeah. um, and then, you know, she's on this path with me and, you know, it things just started really changing. My first vision was actually the, was my nonprofit. OK, I wasn't even thinking about um, like doing a radio show and stuff like that i was mm -hmm. my i wanted to do my service you know yeah yeah yeah. but then i was like all right well how do i you know market i still you know i have to market this platform and stuff and then you know the the i was blessed with the vision with like no do the radio show do we you know what what you know do be dj sense you yeah, know yeah, be yeah, trendsetter yeah. sense and i was like yeah. oh so yeah. that's when and then that's when i you know i came up with you mm -hmm. know god bless me with the vision of chosen journey and um it's it's been a blessing, man, and you know I'm here to be on you guys' platform. Yeah. Thank y'all for having me. Like, oh yeah, man. You know, you uh, go way back. Much, much way blessing back. and success to y'all, man. Thank like y'all definitely have a, a voice and a pulse, and yeah. you know, and Thank you, salute man. to y'all, man. Man, we appreciate it. Um, you know, one of the things that really stands out to me is you know uh, going to school with you guys, right? Going yeah. to Clark Atlanta <laughs> and um, and being in the same building, you know, where the journeys kind of started. You know, uh, mm -hmm. working at Radio One, mm -hmm. um, one hundred seven nine, and you know, kind of doing my thing. And I wonder if you felt the same thing where it was like God kind of always reminded you, even when the 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 noise was loud and Absolutely. you were the crowd was jumping. Yeah, you still kind of felt that silencing of the holy spirit where you're like okay i'm here for now mm -hmm. but i'm transitioning somewhere so when you decided to to break away and the new branding of uh, trendsetter sense started did you feel like that was something that you were gonna have to like it was it a struggle to give that up like to give up you know the limelight of people knowing who you were everything you were doing and what you were up to it having was, the tours and you know all that it was a struggle when i was worldly Okay, gotcha. But when, when I started to understand the vision, yeah, and then understand what the power of faith is, yeah, and 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 having a a strong discernment, mm -hmm. it it like, like I was he blessed me with that. No, I, you got I, I'm gonna give you the confidence. I'm gonna give you mm. the support, the platforms, everything that you so, need. Stop worrying about all of that. Yeah. This is the whole point. Yeah, and yeah. So at the when when it was time to make the move. 
he prepared me when I was like when, but when my mind was still in a worldly space mm-hmm. it was a little scary yeah. wow yeah. wow did you did you feel like um that your timing is just right what's going on with Christian hip hop like to be like man okay god at the right time cuz we've heard a lot of mm-hmm. people be like it ain't ready yet y'all it yeah, ain't ready it yeah. ain't ready but then it's like boom god had to get my heart right and then you know what I'm saying? Get your heart right, and then now it's like everything could be married to for your show and for the music, and even being at yeah. High. That's a really good question, man. Um, like I like I didn't do it for the music, mm. you know. Uh, the be- it was like the music just happened to be like a really good piece, and I, and and the music is really really good. Yeah. So like I said, it was like it was the service, it was the nonprofit, it was it was a ministry, you know. Mm, it was yeah. it was spreading the the word and the gospel, and then oh, this music, you know, it's like oh wait, I can still do the DJ Sense thing, and I don't know, man. It was like it was God's timing, mm, man. Like yeah. it was like, and then when I started diving in, it's funny that you asked that because I started diving in, and I was like, wow, it just. It's really expanding, like what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like, oh, yeah. I, I, you know, I, you know, I, I just more like, more really feel like I'm just a, a playing a piece in the mission. Gotcha. Overall, gotcha. Like, I'm just playing yeah. a role. You know. Yeah. yeah. So talk about the nonprofit. What is you, you like? I'm even more passionate about the nonprofit. What is <laughs> what is the nonprofit, and what how could people be a part of that? Yeah, nonprofit is is chosen journey. Mm-hmm. That and the funny thing is, is like I said, that was the foundation um and it's you know it's evangelism it's mental health Mm -hmm. it's um disenfranchised it's the the poor the needy it's all those things man and it's it's just tapping into like you know sometimes people may feel like you know uh, I, i wanted to come you know from you know coming from where I, with the whole affiliates thing and everything and the the hip hop space we were doing and the mixtape stuff like there's a lot of people in that space that may not really they don't really want to come and step out and be like yo like since can i talk to you for a little bit man mm. this is what i have going on a lot of people the ego and yeah. the, you know like yeah. so i wanted to open up a door well, god bless me to open this door up because there's a lot of people that that need to be feel comfortable and confident gotcha. you know and empowered from the youth gotcha. you know it's just doing the service man it's gotcha. doing this and so chosen journey um, and we're in the evolution stages right now um, yeah. because uh, like I'm it, so like the nonprofit it, it, it just established like just a couple months ago and then gotcha. the show just established just a couple months ago mm-hmm. um, so but the the mission and the and the vision mm. um, is to open those doors and create platforms and, and, yeah. and provide services and things of that nature Not true. was there anything while, while you were doing the affiliates that um where you saw it as God kind of tapping you like you shouldn't be here shouldn't oh be here. man all the were time were there any stories that you're like man crazy Ooh, that's a good question man <laughs> that is a great question all the time man um that was probably like Man, it's like every week. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Yeah. That's like every week, like just a tap. Like, mm-hmm. and it, it's always a tap when you're in your most vulnerable moment. Like, you're taking a shower. Like, nope, you shouldn't yeah. be doing that right there. But okay, do your thing. Yeah. You know, and I'm taking a shower. Like, what? Oh, man. Yeah, um, yeah. And then, you know, you what you would do was, it's funny, man, because I just had a conversation with um, Bizzle. And he was talking about it a little bit, and we were talking about like numbing yourself so you can ignore mm, the voice, wow. you know, like yeah. and putting yourself in a position where you just numb yourself. And then that happens a lot because, you know, then that's how people indulge a lot into alcohol, alcoholism, mm-hmm. smoking, and it's mm-hmm. all like blinding stuff, yeah. you know. So you, so you like then you just forget about it. It's yeah. just you fill yourself with a whole bunch of distractions that the enemy is placing in front mm-hmm. of you, you know. Yeah. And then so. Uh, yeah, to answer your question, man, like that was every week, and um, but I would just ignore it, you know. Mm-hmm. And then, wow. but you know what happened? You ignore it, right? And then <laughs> you bump your head. Something will happen. Yeah, mm-hmm. like an opportunity that you thought was so big, and then next thing you know, the you you, you bump your head, you lose opportunity, yeah. and then the Holy Spirit, like I told you, yeah. So you think you know, like dude, like I uh, certain st- examples, like. You know, I put a couple records together that mm-hmm. I thought were like we're gonna go like super platinum. I had these big artists, and I just couldn't get a record deal. I'm like, what? I got mm. 
<laughs> wow. I got the Migos and T Pain yeah. on the song, and they're like, uh, well, you know, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Just little things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But I realized that that was that was God being like, no, because if you succeed here, you know then you're really going to be blinded from what I'm trying to pull you to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I had, so that yeah. took a lot of spiritual maturity, Yeah, you know, because at the time I'm immature, I'm worldly. And it's like, you know, why? I don't understand. I know my music is good. I know how to put records together. I know, you know, and the songs did pretty well independently, yeah. but you know, from a vanity space, I felt like they were platinum songs, mm -hmm. and I I did independently successful, you know. It was, but with the talent and the, the the names I had involved, I knew I was like, "This is a platinum record." But see, that was pride. That was all those mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. how, you know? how, how many how many celebrities, artists, you feel is on that journey, but they're just there's shit. a lot. There's they're a lot. Scared. There's a lot. Wow. That's what I was going to ask. There's a like, lot, man. Wow. Yeah. Um. And I've been starting to get those phone calls, too. Oh, wow. I was going to ask yeah. you, that. how many people have you been able to talk to here lately? A lot of people, yeah. man. A lot of people, like, and and and, and especially in, the, I have a lot of conversations. And then, like, when, you know, I'll, I, 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 I'll introduce them, I'll play them, you know, you know, yeah. some of these artists and stuff. And that was another thing that I realized is that um, still, you know, in the mainstream world, mm -hmm. but providing a lot of light um, on in the in the Christian hip hop space, man, yeah. and like God is so strategic, man. Your name is trendsetter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like that's exactly what you're doing. Like you're leaving that space where Thank you were you, at, man. and you're coming in now into a whole different. Uh, area, but you have that influence. You Thank know, what you, saying? you're able to talk to those people who, like you said, couldn't really bridge the gap before. Yeah. But I know him. I had a relationship with him. I yeah. see him make the switch, and I could talk to him and see what it's like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I seem more realistic so to some people. What, 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 the what, point. what is the scary part? Like, what do you think they're scared of? Just giving up the fame, the fortune, or you think they they think I'm gonna lose everything if I submit to Jesus? Um, I think it's you know, that's a good question, man, because. Okay, if I if I use like my journey as an example, like like I said, the fear was when I was worldly. Mm. But as I started to discern, I didn't have any fear. Mm. I didn't care. Mm. Um, mm. And it's funny. I think when you display that, mm -hmm. and then like the people that I've been like that that are, I'm around, certain people, they start seeing that. And then I think it just creates some vulnerability. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think it's just, unfortunately, man, um, you know, some people need to see some somebody else kind of yeah. jump out there. Jump out there. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. oh, it. A lot of artists got that persona, the tough guy, the street yeah, guy persona. Yeah, so vulnerability yeah. is not really popular in the hip hop community. Like exactly. That. It's a vulnerability yeah. thing. But then I'm going to tell you, man, like it really has, it, it's it makes you stronger, man. Mm -hmm, right. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, is there being in the music industry? <clears throat> is there anything that people would be surprised that you saw? Uh, you know, just as far as how crazy the world is. I think a lot of artists mm. they look at the music industry as like, I want to get in there. I want to get in there. I think oh, I can make man. a difference. <laughs> is there anything that they would be surprised that you saw? What do you mean, like <laughs> anything? So how far? Like you as go? far as <laughs> I mean. It, it's an there, it's there's an it's an evil space. There's yeah. no denying that. Yeah. It, there's that it's an evil space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So, um. It depends on what level you're talking about. Like, <laughs> yeah. I have, I've yes. I have seen yeah. some things that I wouldn't recommend people to see. Yeah. You know, I've been in, in environments I wouldn't recommend environments that for everybody to be in. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I, I'm thankful that I've been covered. Um, to be able to understand what mm -hmm. is f right and what is not right, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you, but I'm gonna tell you this though: um, you can function. It's just having an understanding, yeah. you know. And then, how are you? Um, what message are you delivering? And yeah. how are you affecting other people? Mm -hmm. You know, love, love thy neighbor. Love, you know. Yeah. Um, it's you know it, we. I'll give you another example, man. Like when when I do, when I was starting to do uh, the chosen journey, 
you know i i was i was going to take it to like um a praise or, mm -hmm. you know a, a platform like that and i i called um darlene mccoy who um you know was the night voice yeah. on praise mm -hmm. and she was like no no you gotta you gotta go to hot that oh. they need to these these young people need to hear what you're doing so and you you provide the comfort for that and i was like wow i wasn't even thinking like that yeah so yeah. i have to give her some props for that man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you know uh, i want to ask you what it was like as a witness after you know you're going back and the people that you that used to rock with you how has it been to like witness to them or like see them come to your see them come and support your transition the support has been amazing man good, that, good, that good. yeah like it's been very very yeah. very positive okay um good. and a lot of like influential um you know people that have a lot of respect Mm -hmm. um yeah it, it's been the port the outpouring of love is 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 yeah it's been phenomenal do you do you get any type of uh vibe from them when you talk about jesus around them like is it something that they just respect automatically or is it something that they just kind of like they respect you so they're gonna let you just you know have your voice and um that's a good question man um mm. i i have it like sometimes i'm trying to see like all right how that you know <laughs> yeah. i know they know i'm in this pocket but um no it's the respect has been it's been strong and then like i said like yeah because you know i i move in a, in a confident space mm -hmm. about speaking on it um it it, it 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 does provide like a level of comfort yeah would yeah. you say it's a lot of people who who pretty much say they believe but they just don't understand what a real relationship looks like yeah i, I would agree with that yeah at one point in my life i remember i was saying i was a believer but i was living outside the will of god i didn't right. understand what relationship was yeah until i got discipleship and things of that nature mm -hmm. that's a key yeah. word bro is like the discipleship man mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. um because people like like you said like they'll speak it and they'll talk it mm -hmm. um but you know are you are you being discipled are you are you mm -hmm. put, are you discerning um, what the scriptures are really trying to tell you, man. That's a good point, man. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Do you do you feel like there's gonna be like we we see it a shift happening mm -hmm. um, in the space of hip hop? Yeah. But do, do you feel like do you feel like the powers, quote unquote, the powers that be, or even just people, the quote unquote gatekeepers of hip hop? <laughs> good question. How far do you think they will allow this music to go, or how far you think the influence of Christianity can go into the hip hop community? I think, I think. God controls it all, man. Mm -hmm. I, I know God contr controls yeah. it all. I don't really put it on people. Yeah. Um. And it's funny, man, because uh, shout out to my OG Eddie Velez. I had yeah. a long talk with mm -hmm. him, and we were talking about that. Yeah. And he was talking about, you know, um, you know, don't always like blame the person. Mm. Yeah. Be angry at the enemy that yeah. put mm -hmm. the blind over their eyes mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. and i was like whoa that was a bar yeah, yeah <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so i really started mm -hmm. thinking about that like that is the agenda man yeah. mm -hmm. you know um is you know like understand the, the source of the, yeah. of where this some of the evil intentions are coming from yeah right? so yeah. i you know when when when, when the God, the creator of everything, man, in Jesus' name, man. Yeah. He, when he's like, this is this is what we're doing, man, then I'm like, let's yeah. go. Right. You know, let's go. So yeah. I got an interesting question for you. We took a record up to hot mm -hmm. years ago, mm -hmm. and we took it to Digger to Dish It. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. the first 30 seconds, it was like they heard God, and they was like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. all right, cool, cool. You know, and they just got put in the crate. <laughs> oh, man. How, how, um, talk about how you think that your show mm -hmm might influence the rest of the day parts for Hot 107.9 like going from just on Sunday to yeah. also blending in like yeah, a yeah. 1K few on a Monday yeah, or yeah. Miles Minnick on a you know whatever do you yeah. see that do you see there being a door do. for that eventually absolutely cool that's absolutely. what's up yeah um, man y'all asking me some really good questions <laughs> for real this is yeah. Yeah, this is years yeah. of us wanting to know like the industry um, that we came out of right you know yeah, I we, know we you felt for like, a thousand years I know, I know. <laughs> and feeling like we came out of it because we just couldn't we couldn't stand it we couldn't take the taste of it right Right. But then for people who stayed and God continued to use them mm -hmm. and has now transitioned them <clears throat> into, you know, I, I really feel like, you know, your platform was designed for you to get to mm. this space wow, so that you bro. could take it and bring it back to this space. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. And I think that's just the way God works um, yeah, he's when amazing, we submit. Man. Yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, 
if anybody could have you know kicked down the doors at hot mm. to start saying like hey this needs to be beyond a sunday mm. i feel like they would listen to you because you have that ear mm. to say no this record is gonna pop this mm. is a yeah. good record yeah. Mm. Yeah. um we were you know when praise first started I mean, even with 107.9, we would be in the rooms when they would do the 30 seconds and they would say, you know, the planning meetings, yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah. the programming meetings yeah, yeah, with, yeah. with um, oh man, Cersei and, yeah. and everybody. Yeah. And they would just play 30 seconds and we would say, is this going to be in rotation? Yeah. Is this going to go on the mix show? Mm-hmm. Or is this going to be just tossed? Yeah, yeah, I got And you. so it's like, you have that ear to where I believe people will respect mm-hmm. yeah. you dissecting yeah, these records. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Absolutely. I got to give a, a lot of credit to my program director, Devin Steele. I haven't met him yet but I still go to hot because Corey and yeah, Clancy they're yeah. my Corey, mentors uh, yeah. Uh, Clancy yeah. yeah 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 Corey is very is been very man she's oh she's man so happy a light for Christ yeah yeah yes. yeah um and um and, and Tim Davies as well okay um my man Devin Steele my program director man he believed in it yeah and he was the one who said like took gave it put it he, he put he, put, he got behind it and yeah. believed in it and wow. gave me the opportunity yeah um so I got to give him a lot of props yeah. And so when you have uh, uh, executives, mm-hmm. decision makers that are mm-hmm. empowering and supporting, yeah, you know, then I feel like that's a very good yeah sign, man. Yeah. And one thing you haven't talked much about the show. Talk about the show mm-hmm. and what you plan to do as far as impacting the city. Yeah. Because yeah. that's something that we've always wanted to do, but yeah. our show has been more online, and we've reached you know. But online is so powerful. It is. Bro. It is. And <laughs> we understand? thought for the longest terrestrial radio is where we wanted to be, and yeah. then we started getting these opportunities with you know Sirius XM yeah. and yeah, man. Sounds of Hip Hop. Yeah. And it just made sense that you know we would just kind of stay where we are yeah it, it, but see the evolution man like it's mm-hmm. just taking advantage of the evolution of media you yeah know what i'm saying and you yeah. see where how it's evolving where our people have so many different ways of getting the content that they yeah. need yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah um but the, the um to go back to your question what was, what was impacting the city impacting like, the, 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 the chosen journey show yeah mm-hmm. um man uh the vision it like it's exactly what we're talking about yeah it's um spreading the, it, it's me just playing my role mm-hmm. you know I, i'm just a servant man yeah yeah yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. i'm just playing my role to shed as much light as possible on really talented uh people that have a very good message and they speak the kingdom in their message mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. um and the music is very good man ah. it, it, it you know that's gotta like, go on loop yeah, yeah it's gotta <laughs> run go it loop. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's what excites me that's what excites my fiance mm-hmm. you know like we sit there um and we're like nerds man we're like we sit there and <laughs> study the music she is a super a and r like her ear oh, is nice. crazy no and way. we sit there and we study you know that's what we do we love yeah, to wow. do it man yeah. and it's just exciting um so like the plans that we have like you know we're talking um festival platforms mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you know um just you know just just impacting the city and I, and, and 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 the world yeah you know you know yeah. um uh, of this uh, of just this important message yeah so are we going to get a uh Birthday badge type yes, event, yes, or even artists. On yes, birthday brother. Badge. Oh, yes, bro. that's what we want. Well, big news. Those conversations <laughs> have already been had. That's big, oh, man. That's yeah. big. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Those kind like like an Easter like an Easter weekend type vibe. We, I, I didn't get that far with the dates. <laughs> <laughs> um, Keep throwing you ideas. Yeah, man. I know. But those conversations, yes, yeah. yes, yeah, and you know, and and we need track stars involved, man. Yeah. Yeah. There, you get yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 yeah, like this is this is a this is a us thing. Yeah. Yeah. A reunion, yeah, yeah, reunion for us. yeah, and yeah, it was funny because I had a a meeting um, with a producer and um, some managers, um, very credible managers, and I told them, I said, look, in order for us to succeed, we have to, you know, this is this is a kingdom thing, mm-hmm. you know, it can't be, you know, I know the, the I know hip hop is competitive, I get it, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, but. This has to. This is bigger than just a competitive one on one. Somebody's mm-hmm. better than this. Mm-hmm. No, this mm-hmm. is a. This is a uplifting. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And if we collab, we work. This thing can really like. And I already, I'm excited. Like mm-hmm. this is very exciting, man. Yeah. So tell them how to listen. Yeah. When all that stuff. Uh, man. Uh, at Chosen Journey Show IG at Trendsetter Sense. 
IG. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got the YouTube.com backslash Trendsetter Sense, uh, the Chosen Journey page, uh, Hot 107.9, yeah. um, every Sunday, 8 to 10. Mm-hmm. Hot, uh, we can live stream um, hotspotatl.com. Uh, is there anything else? Glissel, <laughs> she will she will tell me, uh, babe, you forgot to, uh, you know, she's yeah, very tactful. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we'll have you back yeah, again so you can yeah. tell us whatever you you might miss out. On. Okay, so, yeah. yeah, you'll be back. You've been back. Track stars, sure. let's awesome. get it. Give yeah, it up yeah, for yeah. sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're actually gonna take a break for the first time in like three months. <laughs> um, we'll be right back yeah. after this. Can we get a picture? know all about the official track stars universe so if you'd like a free track stars t-shirt yes as well as free merch discounts and exclusive content and of course direct access to your favorite radio host then this is for you make sure you go to trackstars.com forward slash official that's trackstars.com forward slash official Huh. How you gonna scare me? I don't even walk by sight.